Hi there, must be weekly word time again. Thanks for joining us. It finally turned winter. Didn't think it was ever gonna turn winter here in East Tennessee this year. But man, it's getting cold now. Welcome to January and February coming up. I'm sure we'll make up for this early uh, heat wave that we've had so far this winter. But I like the cold weather. Gotta have a little cold weather and get out and explore around in the bushes and stuff. You don't have to worry about the bugs and the snakes, but uh, if you're gonna get out and when it's really cold, sometimes it even gets below zero around here, you better have uh, something to keep you warm, some kind of good covering. And uh, for me, I like an old Carhartt coat with its uh, canvas and lots of insulation underneath. You can, you can take some pretty cold weather and get out and play around in the woods like that. You gotta have a good covering though, or you could die out here. The Bible uses a word for covering in the New Testament. It's uh, called the atonement. That's the word that Paul uses. Uh, it's a fancy theological word found one time in the New Testament in Romans chapter 5. And the best definition I've ever heard of it is just break the word down into three parts. At one meant. So you have the atonement, which Paul says is the blood of Christ. Then you are at one with God the way it's meant to be. Interestingly, that word atonement's used a whole lot in the Old Testament with the sacrifices and all. And that Hebrew word in the Old Testament is sometimes translated atonement, but the same word is sometimes translated covering. Like where Noah placed a covering of pitch on the ark so it wouldn't sink. That covering prevented the ark from sinking and everybody perishing in the judgment that came upon the whole world back in the Old Testament. And that's a good illustration, like when you place your trust in Christ, you're given the covering or the atonement that when the judgment comes in the future, that we can survive the judgment, just like Noah and his family did the literal one here on earth. that will be a literal one too, but it's in the future life instead of this world. Anyhow, I hope you've trusted in Christ. I'm going to get out here and explore around some, then get back to the wood heater and warm up some. See you next week, I hope.